Did you know that you can store information in Minecraft using music discs? In fact, you can even use them to store images. And that's what I'm going to show you today. Before the update, I only stored images in their physical form, which took up 4096 blocks. But with the new feature added in Minecraft 1.19.4, we can now store images using music discs. So it only takes three double chests to store the data for a 64x64 64 64 image. To digitize the picture, we need to store what color each pixel should be in a way that our display can later read. We'll be using music discs to do that, as they give a different signal strength when placed into the jukebox. There are 16 colors that each pixel can have, but we only have 50 music discs to work with, so we use a non-stackable item to represent zero. If we use a dropper to shoot music disc into the jukebox, any item that is not a disc will stay in the dropper. We can then unpower a hopper beneath the dropper shortly after activating it. This way the music disc goes into the jukebox, but any other item stays in the dropper. And we can then take an output from this dropper which represents zero. Now let's talk about digitizing images. A 64x64 64 64 image has 4096 pixels. And we don't want to put that many music discs into shulker boxes by hand. So I've created a contraption that can convert any image built with concrete powder and digitize it. It's basically just a bunch of item sorters. Each color has a different slot in the sorter. And above each slot, I store the music discs that are assigned to that color. When an item gets sorted, it into a slot, it also sends a signal to the music disc storage above that slot, which then releases the corresponding disc that then enters the shulker box filler in the bottom. After that, the next block gets broken and the cycle continues until the whole image is sold. And then there are a bunch of music discs inside shulkers in the chest at the bottom. The next step is to read the music disc and place the concrete powder to build an image. For this I have created a system that controls 4 slices from my color display individually, reducing 64 inputs down to 16. It works by shifting these columns in one position, there are glass blocks behind the observers so no signal can pass, and in the other position there are normal blocks so the signal reaches the rail. We can read a disc every 4 redstone ticks so let's connect the red coder and see if it works. Alright, so I put the music discs from 1 to 15 in a shulker box and then connected this red coder. As you can see, it is working perfectly. Oh. Ah, the torches burn out because they get pulled too fast. So I ended up using this vertical one without any torches, which also connects neatly to the display input. We can now cycle between the slices and use the signal strength to place concrete powder. Now we need a contraption that reads a new disc every time it gets a pulse. Here's what I came up with. It could be way more compact, but my first objective was to get it to work at all. There were several problems. I needed to unload two shulkers next to each other and switch between them. Because breaking and placing a new shulker takes some time and you can't put any discs into the system while placing and breaking a shulker. So by using two, you can first empty one shulker and then the other while placing the next one. Another problem is the timing between this contraption and the read contraption. But I'll just need to do a few quick tests and I should be done. It is never just a few quick tests. So a few days later I finally got the 4 white slice to work. These things take a long time to make so if you want to support me I now have a Patreon where you can also download the color display. Or just leave a like and subscribe, that also means a lot. Alright, all I need to do now is put 16 slices next to each other and I'm done. One day and way too many tests later. Yes, it actually works! I just digitized an image and then printed it out in Minecraft. This is awesome. And the great thing is you can make way bigger images with this. The only limit is render distance and build height limit. And maybe your PC. There's still a lot of room for improvement. This is more proof of concept. Let me know your ideas and what you would use music disk data storage for. I also made a lava and water display. Check out this video if you want to know more. Bye!